reviewer. I do reviews on the YouTube. You never knew such a cool dude. I keep it so fly, and do you know why? It's cause I know whether to buy that food. All right guys, what's going on? It's a crew reviewer, we're back. Uh, dinner, I think it's 8 31 20 today. I think that's the date, almost September, that's unbelievable. Uh, we're trying Weymouth House of Pizza. We're doing the steak and cheese and a piece of the back lava. They had it. I was very happy. Although it looks kind of iffy. I've never seen back lava come wrapped like this. So I'm, I don't know. I will find out though. So we got a large steak and cheese with extra cheese. No drink. Probably going to regret that. The smells coming off of this steak and cheese are very good. Toasted bread, there's a lot of meat in this. A lot of meat, looks real good. Not too sure how much cheese is on it. It doesn't look too, too greasy. I mean, there's a little bit of grease up there, but that's expected. Let's go ahead and try it. So I don't know if these people own Leonardo's or if Leonardo's owns them, but the website is literally the same ordering system. So I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a lot of meat. Not too flavorful on the meat though. I definitely use more seasoning on the meat. And there is a good amount of cheese down on the bottom of the sandwich. <laughs> Making everything all come together down there. But the top is just really dry. Nice soft roll. Even though it's toasted, it's still nice and soft. It's just the top coming apart like it is a toasted sub. It's all right. I think it'd be better if the cheese was more evenly distributed throughout the steak. This feels like one of those ones where they where they put the cheese on the bread and then maybe put that in the toaster, which I think if you put the cheese on the steak when it's still on the grill and then kind of fold it over it like you would like an omelet, it's more evenly distributed throughout the whole sub, which makes it better. So I'm gonna knock them on that, that the cheese is all on the bottom, there's nothing on the top whatsoever, so it makes it very dry. But when you get in down to that corner where it is, it's like it's greasy and more flavorful because the cheese is there and the steak could be seasoned a little bit better. It's kind of just bland. Good roll though. The roll is very good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. We'll be back for the back lava. All right, let's try this back lava now. The wrapping was kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of dry, it seems like on the outside. Usually these things are kind of pretty moist, I would say. So there it is. Decent amount of filling, it looks like. This is a decent piece, too. I don't exactly know how much it was. I didn't get a receipt. Probably around $3. Let's go and try this. Really dry. I 100% regret not getting a drink. so dry it's 
kind of just bland too. There's not really any like a, like the syrup that they put on these things, which kind of sucks because usually when you use a syrup, it's moist and it's gooey and so good. This is just straight dry garbage. I'm disappointed. All right, guys. So the steak and cheese was all right. Could have had more flavor. This back lava could have had more flavor. Could have been more moist. Weymouth House of Pizza. If you're going to be in the area, go to Leonardo's instead. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.